can I get an old fashioned and a vodka Red Bull? Sure thing, coming right? Oh, my God, you Ruth Ackman. Guilty as charged. Oh man, I am absolutely your biggest fan. I've seen everything you've ever done. You are one of the reasons I got into acting. Your odor is fascinating. Well, thank you. It's always. Wait, what? I really can't believe you are standing here right now. In fact, I just used one of your monologues for my acting class yesterday. Oh, really? Which one? I performed a piece from the Dead Poets Society audiobook. As you. As Mr. Keating. You performed as me. As Mr. Keating. Yeah, I like to choose more obscure work, you know, to test my boundaries not only as an actor but also as a human being running in this crazy gauntlet we call life. Here, I'll do it for you right now. No really that's okay, you don't have to. Oh, okay, you're gonna jump right into it. In my class, you will learn to think for yourselves again. You will learn to savor words and languages. No matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. Um, thanks. That was very interesting. I wasn't finished yet. That was just a pause in the monologue, or what is commonly referred to as a beat. Come on Lou, you should know that, or have you gun all Hollywood on us? Forgot all about your theater roots? Actually, a beat is not simply a pause, but a shift in action, or thought of a scene, or it can be considered a stress on a line of poetry. That's what I said. Anywho, I'll start over. No that's really alright, I should be getting back to my table. Oh, okay, where are you sitting? I'll bring the drinks out for you. I'm right over there in the corner, but you don't need. Gee, Jesus Christ, who is that gorgeous girl at your table? You were married, aren't you? Um, yes I am, and well, she is, just a friend of mine, can I please have my drinks? In a second. Wow, I'd knock the dust off of that, if you know what I'm saying. Yes, I get the drift. And your wife too. What? I've always thought she is one of the classiest and most elegantly beautiful actresses out there. She is an inception of magical woman beauty and her vessel is to be cherished at an altar like a modern day Aphrodite. What's it like to be inside her? Uh, 